Good morning, South Africa. It is a Wednesday. The phone lines are open. It's myself and a chef in the kitchen, which must mean it's a culinary hotline bling! <laughs> Listen, yeah, I think there are only listen, like five or something hotline blings left. Can I get a better ting ting ting? <laughs> it's a culinary hotline bling! Ting ting ting! Now, like I mentioned, there are Literally a few weeks left of this year, That's and right. even fewer sessions of the culinary hotline. So we are fully going into the pre-festive season. Shannon, you're in the kitchen with me this morning. Thank you so much for being here. Thank South Africa, you. we are talking everything no-bake desserts. So, and I feel like South Africa is a no-bake dessert country. We love our no-bake desserts. Yeah. So I want to know from you if you have. First of all, what's your favorite no-bake dessert? And if you have any tips or tricks or any questions for myself or Shannon, please send us a voice note to our WhatsApp number on 063-408-8863. Now, we promised you a whole lot of hotline featuring a whole lot of no-bake desserts. Shannon's doing a thing. Shannon, what's the first thing we're doing? Uh, so the first one, we're going to do the easy date dark chocolate bar, which is a healthy one. Um, and then next up, we're going to do a no-bake milk tart. Uh -huh. And then lastly, a kid's favorite, a passion fruit kind of like cake. Call me, call me a kid because it's one of my favorite desserts, that passion fruit no-bake no cheesecake. <laughs> it's coming up. So I like every fact we're starting like healthy-ish. Yeah. And then we're getting indulgent. Yeah. So let's get cracking straight away. What I love about chocolate bark is that it's kind of like a canvas, a chocolate canvas, and yeah. then you get creative with it and you make it your own. Exactly. And I'm even seeing restaurants now as the part of their Petit Four serving chocolate bark, which I absolutely love. I think it's re really cool. I know, it's also a viral trend at the moment. So oh, really? It's super cool and super easy to make as well. Comes together in like 5 to 10, 15, 5, 15 minutes and everyone can enjoy. So we're topping it with dates and pistachios. Yeah, so this one, it's like good for like protein, healthy kind of people because it's got dates, nut butters and dark chocolate. Mm -hmm. Alternatively, if you want to make it like a little bit for like more kid friendly, then use normal chocolate. And mini marshmallows, marshmallows mini pretzels, or whatever of your toppings. Love it, yeah, absolutely. Perfect. So, again, it's the fact that you can turn it into whatever you like. Yeah. So I feel like if you have any Christmas, like... Do you do that? Like the, <gasps> oh, like this. Also, there's a good example. This. Hold on. I won't say the brand, but you know you get those other, other brand of like a lot of mixed sweets? Yeah. And then they put it like on the counter, like, Ooh, it, like it's yes, a, the festive yes. jar. So if you have the festive jar, you can turn it into chocolate bark at the end, yeah. which I think is really cool. Also gifting. Exactly, that's what I was going to say. You wrap them up in a little box with a personalized note and a nice little bow, and you've got a cheap Christmas gift. Yo, like, I think that's amazing. Like, you go through the stress of, of the festive season, yeah. right? And you're preparing for your, your in-laws and your uh, everything, everything, everything. But, you know, you make it sweet to give them a gift when they leave. Exactly. That's so nice. And it's something special as yeah. well. But yeah. don't, don't do too good of a job. You don't want to be hosting every... Christmas. Or be in charge of chocolate bark. <laughs> or be in charge of oh, that for the rest of your life. I love it. Okay. Peanut butter, though. We, how are we adding the peanut butter? So this is a nut butter. We're going to microwave this for 30 seconds. Okay. Right. Just to loosen it up. Um, I'm using nut butter instead of peanut butter for the more healthy kind of option. Um, don't, 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 don't judge me. Eh? I, I went to chef school for like a million years. But I, can I get an expert in how to use the microwave? Oh, my goodness. This is not a joke. Thank you, expert. <laughs> Thank you, expert. Nicole, you do so much for us in the studio. Literally, Nicole does anything and everything. You can now add to your list professional microwave <laughs> user. Thank you, Nicole. Can I get a thank you, Nicole? Thank you, Thank Nicole. You, Nicole. <laughs> so why are, we, why are we melting the nut butter? Because uh, it loosens it up and makes it easier to work with. Oh, so um, we're actually stirring that through the chocolate? So we're, gonna, so we're kind of like layering them up. So now we have our dates. We're going to add on the nut butter. After that, we're going to add on our melted dark chocolate. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to top it with some pistachios and a little bit of flaky sea salt. Oh, and the salt is very yeah. important. Like chocolate and salt is the absolute Just the hack. perfect combo, right? All right, let's go. I think perfect. that's good. So just to the point where it's just softened. Yeah. And you can stir it through Easy the chocolate. Easy to work with, yes. So we spoke about the fact that we can use like milk chocolate, white chocolate, dark chocolate. Exactly. Do you have any tricks when it comes to working with white chocolate <sighs> in this sense? I'm honestly not a white chocolate fan, to be mm -hmm. honest. I don't have much experience working with it. Um, but add a little bit of um, any kind of oil, um, okay. neutral oil, into your chocolate while you're heating it up, and it makes it easier to work with. Also, makes it uh, last longer before it becomes oh, hardened. Oh, that's yeah. true. Okay, I like that because white chocolate can be a little tricky to work with. Yeah. So I like your tip of adding a little bit of extra fat to it. Yeah. Ooh. Okay, that's delicious. 
Do you think we can get another like few seconds on you? Sure. Thanks. Nicole, come help me with this microwave. Nicole's gonna be back help you with this microwave. <laughs> There we go. Nicole's on that. Okay. Thank so we literally, you. we literally want it runny, right? Yeah. That's what we're looking for. So that for. we can just like smooth it over all of this. And your ch your chocolate, your malted chocolate, you do over a double boiler? Uh, so just over a pot with water, glass, uh, microwave safe glass dish, put it on top and just tamper it. Let me actually show South Africans because yeah. we get this question so often when we melt chocolate over water. This is literally how much water you need in your pot. It should never come close to the bowl that's got the chocolate in it. You're actually malting the chocolate using the steam from the bowl. So get that on there and you don't need, you don't want the water to be like boiling. Yeah. It's just gotta be just simmering. There's enough heat in there to malt your chocolate and this chocolate looks Delicious. absolutely amazing. Clem, are you ready to go? We're gonna yes, yes, yes. What here. am I doing? Am I pouring chocolate? Uh, yeah. Okay, well, cool. Wait till I'm done with this. There we go. It's a little bit of a messy kind of job. But, but it's I mean, fun. I feel like it should be. Exactly. Right? And it's festive time, so it's like perfect for the kids to get in involved as well. You can stack some jelly tots on top of your mm. marshmallows. Like, it's the possibilities of toppings are absolutely endless. So you're keeping it a little healthy with this one, having the dates yeah. and These having ones the pistachios. These are good for like people that do workouts and stuff because it's got all the healthy things. There's actually nothing unhealthy in here if you think about it. There's yeah, nothing this is a real healthy. It's healthy. Yeah. This is healthy. Where have okay. you ever heard of that? Here we go. Okay, so let's do. Perfect. Actually, you know what? You've done so much. I can't like steal the thunder. You can do the giant pour. Please, are, are we doing this like theatrically, like from a height? Uh, if you want, how do you want me to pour it? Yes, over? all the theatrics. Okay, Why not? Perfect. So now we're gonna pour over our dark chocolate. Oh yes. How good does that yeah. look? Yeah. And also the fact that you've kept everything quite chunky. Exactly. Normally chocolate box quite thin. Yeah. You've done a lot because to the Because then when you like break it into the middle, the nut butter becomes like a ooey gooey center. Oh, yes. Yeah. And this can live in the, f where, okay, so if you make this ahead of time, where would you actually keep it and in how would fridge. you store it? Keep it in the fridge, yeah. like in a jar. Yeah. Oh, that looks so good. And then, so all we need now is pistachios and salt. Perfect. Do you want to chop up some pistachios for yes. me or do you want me to do that? I'll do the pistachios and for I'll you real quick. I'll up you a little bit. South Africa, this is one easy recipe that you need to try for this festive season. Exactly. We're gonna, if we have gonna... guests coming over, take yes. 15 minutes in the freezer and you've got a dessert. There we go. So when you come back in a little bit, you're going to see the final result of our date and pistachio chocolate bar. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back with more culinary hotline bling. Ding, ding, ding. Here we go. It's my feel good breakfast show. <laughs> and welcome back to the kitchen for another installment of, very loud now, <laughs> the Culinary Hotline Bling! Bling, ding, ding! Where were you guys earlier this morning? Nah, we'll talk about that during the ad break. <laughs> Shannon, we're back. Yes, we are. Uh, the chocolate bar is in the fridge. Yes. And it's going to be sitting, so we'll see that in the next part. Let's talk about what we're making next, which is... We asked on social media yeah. what people's favorite no-bake dessert is, and this one came up, like, a lot. A uh, milk tart. A uh, milk tart. That is the South African favorite, it is, so it's amazing. The, the no-bake milk tart, yeah. I mean, I've always, I always gravitate towards the baked version, purely because I've never made the no-bake version. So let's make it for the, I'm making it for the first time with you, South Africa. Okay, amazing. So first things first, we are gonna get some butter melted. Clem, it's the microwave again. Nicole, can you come <laughs> back and use the microwave? <laughs> Okay, Nicole's gonna melt, melt the butter okay, for perfect. us. And then, the base, right? Yes. So the base we're using, um, I can say that it's tennis biscuits. Yes. Yeah, so tennis biscuits and the butter, that's gonna melt together and that's gonna make our, that's our gonna, base. That's gonna use for cool. the base. And then I'm gonna move on to the custard in the meantime, which is just milk, I see, um, I beg your pardon, milk, some condensed milk and vanilla essence. We're gonna mm -hmm. get that in there. Once it's at boiling point, we're gonna put that off and then I'll show you what we do with the eggs. Cool, yeah. okay, I'm excited, let's do this. Condensed milk also be like really only comes out during festive times. Yeah. yeah. The rest of the year we don't really use it that much and then the festive time is like all the condensed milk. Exactly, because you throw it in like every Everything. single dessert. Yeah. And then I know people can get iffy about it because it's, I mean, it's, there's sugar it's in festive, there, and it's, come but it's festive. On. And also, you never end up eating like the biggest portion of something when you add condensed milk to it. Even we just had um, Diwali now. When we use condensed milk in all the sweet meats, yeah. a sweet meat like it's, it's like that tiny. Exactly. So you should not so be just feeling take bad. It like a little, a little uh, bit. Yes. Yeah. And uh, when I was younger, my job, my job, 
my treat would be I'd get the Your leftover chum. bowl. <laughs> I'd get the leftover bowl of condensed milk yeah. and then just sit there just like. Oh, but isn't that like the best part of it? Like oh, even absolutely. like cake and everything. And then remember one stage I used to have the condensed milk that you could actually just get in a tube? Yeah. <gasps> Durkies. Durkies. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh. It gives me toothache just thinking about it. I mean, the things we did when we were younger, like <laughs> uh, today, we're like, oh no, sugar. No, definitely not. But when we were younger, we were like, condensed milk, condensed milk. I know, but uh, even thinking of me as a mom, I'm like, I used to like uh, consume the worst things. Uh -huh. And now with my kids, she's like, mom, can I have sweets? I'm like, oh, like three is enough. <laughs> There we go. I feel okay, you. Perfect. I feel you. I like it. So I'm going to leave you to do the base. You can okay. mix the butter slowly into there. Slowly. Um, mm -hmm. Because it's quite hot. And then just mix it in and uh, pour the base into the tin and sort of like use the back of your spoon to get it into a nice shape. Got you. Got yeah. you. So we're talking about, thank you, Nicole, for coming and using the amazing kitchen appliance. I will be doing a little workshop during the ad break. We're talking about kitchen appliances. Willie is part of the Black Friday deal. If you get... 20, you get 20% off kitchen appliances. Those are selected kitchen appliances, T's and C's apply. Go and check out that promo on their website. And then wait, once you get the kitchen appliance, read the manual of how to use it, which is what I'm going to be doing during the ad break next for this microwave. Okay, Shannon, back to you. Okay, Okay, perfect. Base is looking good. Can we get hands in here just to make sure it's like a proper yeah, incorporated? Yeah, hands are clean. It's good. Yes, yes. Perfect. Now you can go ahead and like shape it into a beautiful base. In the meantime, I'm going to get started on the eggs. When we make this, how long would it take to set? Five to six hours, but okay. uh, ideally overnight. So make it the day before. Yeah. And, I mean, Definitely. could you also make this, like, well in advance? Or should we just keep it, like, a day before? You don't want to do this, like, let's yeah, say, I three don't, days in advance? Yeah, I don't want it starting to taste like the inside of your fridge. That's so true. Yeah. Don't I hate it when things have, like, that fridge kind of taste. It mm -hmm. gives me an ick. Like, like, also freezer. Oh. Like ice. Yes. And I, my hack at home is I actually put the, the water in the ice cube tray. Yeah. I put the whole ice cube tray in a zip seal bag. Yeah. Because I've also got a thing about things tasting like fridge. Exactly. Or fridge. So your eggs, by the way, South Africa, your eggs, because they're porous, they'll absorb the flavor of your fridge. Yes. So never put your eggs next to things like onions or anything that's quite aromatic because you're going to end up having... I mean, onion flavored eggs sound nice, but don't do it. Don't do it. Don't put your eggs near things that are quite aromatic. Okay, base is down, and that was quite easy. Yeah, exactly. Just try and like, go a little bit up to the. You want to look? Yeah, let's obviously. Go up. To keep in all the. Yeah, we want it pretty clear. Milk pot goodness. Perfect. Okay, so, so, so it white, I'm going to a soft peak. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to, with the egg yolks, we're going to add in our cornstarch and a pinch of salt and water. And then once our custard um, starts boiling, we're going to add in our egg yolk mixture. And it's that cornstarch that gives us that custard, setting, yeah. that custard setting ability. Okay, we're looking good. We're looking awesome. There we go. That's so pretty. Thank you. And can you add, do, if you want to bump up the cinnamon, look at me changing South African recipes. If you want to bump up cinnamon, could you actually like flavor the base with like other ingredients? You can use any biscuit uh, you like, but then we're deterring from it being like a South African. And we don't want to do that because yeah. the aunties will come after I us. I going to tell you now. No, and they, they're not shy. You, you, they will honestly come after us. Okay, cool, that looks really good. Will you get this a little bit to like yes. a little bit more of a thickness? I'm gonna work on the egg yolks in the meantime. In this, we are just adding cornstarch, salt, and water. Nice. Talk, talk to me about festive season responsibilities and roles. It's always me. So I have to do cooking for the whole entire family. Okay. But also, I've got this whole thing where I'm very much like, I hate people making food Just, on Christmas. You, you see, you can't pause. <laughs> you can't pause after saying that. You're going to be like... It's not my fault. Okay. So, uh, so, sorry, so say again, what is your thing? I'm just not a fan of the other people making food on Christmas. Okay. Because I, I believe it's like a special lunch. And you know Christmas meats, Christmas meats are quite pricey. So you're like, please don't mess up the lamb, I'll do it myself. I got you, and I got I have you. A fork. Fork, oh, okay. I'll use the there we go. That's looking really good. Uh, so that's the cornstarch, that's the egg. And what else is in there? The milk. Yeah. Milk. Okay, uh, that's going to be the binding no, agent. So over here we've got milk, condensed milk, and vanilla essence. We're waiting for this to come up to a slight mm -hmm. boil before we add in our. Nice. Mixture, and that temperature on the milk, you said it's, like, it's quite low? Oh, it is. 
There we go. You don't want it to be bubbling. Uh, no, I want it to be after eggs. a boil. Oh, you do want it. And then like we a... have to let it sit for three minutes Got before you. we pour this in. It yeah. looks so good. Okay, so talk to me. So you said you're cooking. You do kind of, you manage, the, manage everything yes. on the day. Well, we have a rather very small family. Like on my end, it's just me, my partner, and my daughter. So we either, last year we spent Christmas with our friends, uh, Tina, Keen, and Keenan. And we just had like a friends, Miss Lunch, and I made like 12 different... Wow. Yes, I know. Twelve Christmas is like my show and shine. Oh, wow. Okay, yes. cool. Pretty impressive. Pretty impressive. Okay, so that's going to join the hot milk. And then once that's nice and set, we're going to fold through the egg whites. Am I right? Uh, no. So the egg whites, because we are not, uh, we're not baking it. So the egg whites, after we get this to a boil, we're going to add in our slurry, our, mm -hmm. our mixture. Then we're going to stir that until uh, the custard thickens up for five minutes. And then let that cool for two minutes. We're going to add this in and then stir for another additional two minutes. Then we're going to take it off the heat, mm -hmm. pop that in the freezer in the meantime to set. Once this is uh, room temperature, we're going to pour it over into our, our dish and let it set for five to five to six hours. And it'll end up looking like this. There we go. Yeah. Let's show them what it looks well, like. you know what? We're going to do a proper taste test when we yes. come back for the next part. So don't go anywhere because there's another amazing dessert coming up, which is our passion fruit no-bake cheesecake. And that one is a kid's favorite. Kid's favorite, my favorite. So don't go anywhere. We'll be back with more Culinary Hotline Bling! Ding, ding, ding! It's my feel-good breakfast show. And we're back in the kitchen for another installment of the Culinary Hotline Bling! Ding, ding, ding! And we're still in the kitchen with Shannon Smith. Shannon, the two desserts you made earlier are looking amazing. We're going to taste know. in a bit. But yes. the last one is my favorite. Of it's course. the... Oh, you, you say what it is. Okay, perfect. So this one is a passion fruit cheesecake kind of cake. Uh, it's very simple. We've got a base and a lovely topping. And it's no-bake. So, here's the thing, South Africa, if you still want to let us know about your favorite no-bake dessert, please let us know. Send us a, a WhatsApp voice note to the number 064-408-8863. Now, let's get started. Okay, oh, perfect. by the way, I learned how to use the microwave in South Africa. It's okay. Thank there goodness. we go. Done. Butter's busy melting. Yeah. For the base that we're doing for our beautiful cheesecake, because every cheesecake does need a base. Yes. Right? What are we doing for the base? Uh, so we've got some biscuits in here. You can use your choice of biscuits. I'm using tennis biscuits, some coconut flakes. We're going to add in some condensed milk. This one's more like a, we're trying to create like a cakey sort of like base. All right. So we've got, uh, it's more of a thicker, more dense base than an I actual got you. crust. And are we achieving that by adding the extra coconut? Uh, yes, we're uh, achieving that by adding the coconut and also the condensed milk. Right, got because you. Because all of it goes in together, so it's sort of like a, a, a high-rise base. Okay, cool. And I like that you've made this in individual portions, because I feel like, especially during the festive season, yeah. it feels a little more special when you've made individual desserts. Exactly. And then it kind of feels like it's made specifically. It looks fancy as well. It does, well. it does. But, I mean, at home as well, same time, just take the recipe, you can make a big one as well, right? Oh, and that's something that you like, I'll keep and I'll eat off for like exactly. a while. Because the texture gets better the longer it sits in the fridge. Exactly. So make this one a few days in advance. This one you should, but use an airtight container so we get no fridge smells. No fridge smells. Yes. Yes. Ooh, sorry, slam. Perfect. Okay, so here's the butter. But should I do that for you? Uh, I'm going to do this. Okay. In the meantime, what you can do, you can zest the lemon on you and get me some lemon juice, please. Sure thing. So lemon zest just down on yeah. the... Perfect. And then lemon juice goes into our icing? What is that uh, called? So lemon juice we're going to put in oh, here. Okay. Lemon zest we're going to throw into our topping. Cool. Perfect. So very cool way, and I started doing this a lot at yeah. home. When you microplane, normally we microplane, we're holding the lemon and then microplane from the top. Yeah. So I've started doing it in like in the reverse. I like saw that. that it stops you from like cutting your hands. There and we go. I don't have a problem with knives, but I do have a problem with like any kind of slicer or peeler. Got it's you. always getting my fingers sort of like chopped. So doing it the other way around, you got more control, your yes. fingers are out the way. There we go, looking good. So tell me again, because I don't want to make mistakes. Zest is going to go into oh, our... Oh, smells delicious. So the zest we can uh, put, it's going to go into our topping, leave that aside, and then you can juice half of a lemon in here. Half of a lemon, cool. And then my favorite, because we're coming into summer now, yeah. so citrus is a winter fruit. So I find that you don't get as much juice out of the summer citrus. So, but popping it in the microwave for 30 seconds really makes a difference. I know. Even if you like it, rub and it up and down the table. Yeah. The roll breaks up those salts. So you get more I juice out of it. I also feel like the heat impacts the flavor of, of citrus. So for mm -hmm. me, like putting it in the microwave, 
is not always like ideal. The best. I it feel you. Like, like a, I don't know. Maybe I got it's just you. Me. Cooked lemon. Yes. Hey. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. So half the. There Got we it. go. Just... Let me just grab this. That's fine. This is. I'm. I'm totally obsessed with um, kitchen gadgets. Let me just see yeah. if I can find my favorite one. Let me see where it is now. I know which one you're talking about. There, the yellow. Where is it? Yellow. Here we go. There. There we go. This is my favorite. Okay. So I'm gonna. So what you fine. did was you, yeah. you did the you did the this. Yeah. Which is when you squeeze the juice goes up, but your fingers catch all the seeds. That's right. This is my new favorite thing. Not just because of catching the seeds. Why? But because of, look up look at how much because you finished this right. Okay. Look at how much juice there still is. Can I go? Go. Okay. Okay. I, I you get see, now. It's like it's just like zero waste in citrus. So I love these things. Check it out in Woolies. Exactly. It's actually sustainable. It's sustainable. We there go. we go. <laughs> but also, I'm like a sucker for kitchen gadgets, so I will buy any kitchen okay, gadget under the sun up. just to use it. Did someone telling me to move up? <laughs> you can tell when I've been talking too much. Talk to me. Okay, okay. so. So now we're going to lay in our base for our topping. We need a little bowl. So we can use our. Over here, we've got powdered icing sugar. Mm -hmm. We are going to add in. Clem, I'm so sorry. Could you do some melting? More food? melting. Here we go. <laughs> This in the meantime, the, the I'm going thing? to add in our passion fruit pulp. And then... What do you, how can I help you? Um, can we get the lemon zest in here? Sure thing. And a little spoon. Oh, it's fine. I'll use my mixing spoon. Perfect. Lemon zest goes in. Perfect. And this one comes together in like two minutes. That's my favorite part about this one. Uh, gotcha. I just need the butter. Uh huh. We're just gonna join, go, and yes. with your icing. And we're then almost we there. can spoon this into our beautiful glasses. Don't you love a fancy glass? I feel like <laughs> it makes me happy. I feel like the glassware and how you serve your yes, food makes all the so difference. Yes, it's so important. Aesthetic. The aesthetics of it all. Okay, butter's gone in. This just needs a mix. Perfect. Give it a mix. Let me get another spatula. Do do do. There we go. Cool. Perfect. All right. So what are we looking for for this mixture? Just to kind of incorporate the liquid with yes. the... Yes. No, the... you want to get it all going nice and smoothly. So incorporate it all together. Uh, there we go. Oh, okay. Yeah. Perfect. But let's just keep working it um, until everything's... Um, yeah. And I mean, if you do find that you get lumps in it, the trick is to actually to to serve your icing sugar yeah. first. That yeah. makes a huge difference. You don't need to fight with the lumps in it. But this is easy. It so. is. Cool, what else goes in here? Uh, that's it. That's it, that's yes. amazing. Okay, so definitely. You can start pouring. Definitely. You know, we can show them why. Serve your icing, icing sugar, sugar first. <laughs> but this is so decadent. Okay. And again, we spoke, about the, we spoke about the fact that yes, we're using rich ingredients. But you don't use all of it. Exactly. And so, a little goes a long way. Absolutely. That looks so good. Don't look at the mess that I made on the back. Exactly. You see nothing. That looks absolutely delicious. Well done, Clem. And even though... <laughs> you couldn't <laughs> use a microwave, but you can pour one dessert. So even though this is quite a rich dessert, I would still go for like a little bit of cream on the top because that cream, even though it's cream and it's rich, Ooh, yeah. it would kind of cut through the... Yeah. The, the flavor, the, the... It's also like an old school style, which mm. I kind of like the cream on top. Yeah. But I think this is like date night dessert perfect. Like, if you're trying to impress your date on a first date, like... Yeah, this is a good quick, one. Easy. Again, the individual portions, yeah. absolutely. Shannon, we've created some amazing dishes this morning. Thank you. South Africa, go and get these recipes on espressoshow.com. And yes, you definitely want them. Thank you so much. Thank you for it's, having it's not, I don't think it's the last time we're seeing you this year. We'll be back. But South Africa, you're definitely coming back next week for more Culinary Hotline Blue! Ding, ding, ding!